The burden of influenza in the United States is substantial, both in terms of health and economic impact. For the 2023 through 2024 flu season, as of early November 2023, the CDC estimated there have been approximately 780,000 to 1.6 million flu illnesses, 360,000 to 770,000 medical visits due to the flu, 8,000 to 17,000 hospitalizations, and 490 to 1,500 deaths. Looking at a broader historical context, between 2010 and 2020, the flu has resulted in an estimated 9 million to 41 million illnesses, 140,000 to 710,000 hospitalizations, and 12,000 to 52,000 deaths annually in the United States. The burden of flu disease can vary widely depending on factors like the characteristics of circulating viruses, the timing of the season, the effectiveness of the flu vaccine, and vaccination rates. Economically, the average annual total burden of influenza to the U.S. healthcare system and society is substantial. A study estimated this cost at about $11.2 billion, with direct medical costs amounting to $3.2 billion and indirect costs, such as lost productivity, totaling $8 billion. These figures are based on the estimated average numbers of ill non-medically attended patients, office-based outpatient visits, emergency department visits, hospitalizations, deaths, and days of productivity lost. Cleaning and disinfecting an office building to prevent the spread of influenza involves several key steps. Identify high-touch surfaces. Focus on frequently touched surfaces like doorknobs, light switches, elevator buttons, handrails, and office equipment. Use appropriate cleaning agents. Utilize EPA-registered disinfectants that are effective against influenza viruses. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and proper ventilation. Regular cleaning schedule. Increase the frequency of cleaning, especially during flu season. Surfaces that are touched by multiple people should be cleaned daily, if not more often. Personal protective equipment. Cleaners should wear appropriate PPE such as gloves and masks to protect themselves from chemical exposure and potential infection. Promote hand hygiene. Install hand sanitizing stations and encourage employees to wash their hands regularly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Educate employees. Inform staff about the importance of staying home when sick, covering coughs and sneezes with a tissue, and avoiding touching their face. Ventilation. Improve building ventilation as per CDC guidelines to enhance air exchange and reduce the concentration of airborne contaminants. Waste disposal. Safely dispose of cleaning materials and personal protective equipment, and provide no-touch waste bins. Electronics. For electronics like tablets, touchscreens, keyboards, and remote controls, follow the manufacturer's instructions for cleaning and disinfecting. If no guidance, use alcohol-based wipes or sprays containing at least 70% alcohol. Soft surfaces. Clean soft surfaces such as carpets, rugs, and drapes with appropriate cleaners indicated for use on these surfaces. If you would like more information regarding the effectiveness of high-performance infection prevention and control measures, or if you would like to schedule a free, no-obligation on-site assessment of your facility's custodial needs, contact us today for a free quote.